Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about installing RAM in your desktop. As you can see they come in all different shapes and sizes. This one here is from a laptop and uh, these two here are from desktops. And the little stickers you see on the top give information as to what kind of uh, RAM this is. And it is 256 megs of DDR RAM and it operates at 400 megahertz. The little 400 you see there is the speed at which the, um, this particular memory chip is uh, able to perform at. Um, <clears throat> I'll also do a video on how to uh, track these things down if you have a computer in your uh, not quite sure how much um, space you have available to upgrade your memory. Um, I'll show you how to hunt down the model number and find all the information out about your computer. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to show you how to open up the desktop. Hello everyone. Um, so in order to open up this particular desktop, you'll need a, a screwdriver. It's a Phillips head. And uh, the screws look like this. And they're located here and here. Unfortunately, they've been removed. So what I'll do next is I'll flip over this uh, desktop and I'll pull the uh, side panel out. Sometimes they stick a little bit, and if they do, you just might have to put a little bit of force into them. So I'm going to move these wires over. Um, you see down the bottom I have four slots of memory. And uh, they have little tabs on either side that secure the uh, chip into place on the motherboard and what you want to do is pull those little tabs away from the chip in order to remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because I'll need both fingers for this. Sometimes the tabs stick a little bit you just have to work with them a little and um, yeah so I'll uh, Get one of these chips out for you. So as you can see, I've uh, removed, I've uh, separated the two uh, uh, tabs that hold your memory into place. Um, I'll go ahead and remove the memory. It comes out fairly easy and as you see there they have um, a tab on either side like right here that that little uh, plastic piece connects to these things only go in one way now uh, the question is well what happens if you put um, uh, a different type of memory in. For instance, uh, this memory has two gigs total uh, memory for this particular chip. So let's say you got the same thing but it was only um, well let's say it was a four gig chip for argument's sake. The computer doesn't recognize it so I would only use the first two gigabytes of, um, of memory. Uh, the memory chip itself is uh, this, for this particular slot is maxed out at 2 gigs. 
So now uh, what I'll do is I'll go in and uh, put back our memory chip. So when you put in the memory chip, uh, look for the little uh, tag uh, or uh, the, um, the little uh, um, barcode at the back, I guess. These things only go in one way, so if it doesn't work, you probably put it in backwards. And they just slide into position like that. And the tabs click together, except for that one down there. Um. So I had accidentally put in the memory wrong, and that's why that one tab uh, didn't close on me properly. So we'll go in ahead and secure this bit of memory. All the tabs have clicked into place. So I'll go ahead and I'll stop this video. Now in order to put your case back on properly, there's these uh, holes here that you line up with your uh, panel you just removed and it slides uh, right back into place. So I'll go ahead and uh, slide this panel back on. line up all the holes. Sometimes it takes a little bit of doing and then once it's in place it just snaps shut and uh, you just feel around to make sure everything's nice and level and secure and that's it. And in my next video what I'll do is I'll show you how to change the CMOS battery and this will be a bonus video for um, uh, subscribers. Unfortunately, my cat has decided to be the next, uh, well, wants to be a star, and I don't think, uh, so, Adric, get out of the way. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If there's something you want me to cover, please, by all means, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'm interested in what you guys think of these videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, don't for Please don't forget to subscribe. As I say, I will have a bonus feature just for subscribers. I'm planning to uh, do that uh, once every so often, uh, just to thank the people that... Uh, have uh, been there to support me. Uh, so I'll see you in the I'll see you later in the next video.